Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about atypical cystic liver disease. Um, simple cyst is typical. As you see, uh, typical cyst every day, atypical cyst includes three, cystic neoplasm, cystic necrosis of solid tumor, and inflammation looking like a cyst. Uh, looking at uh, pathology, this is a simple cyst, water bag covered by thin capsule lined by a single cuboid epithelium contains serous fluid. Uh, cystic neoplasm contains mucin, usually mucin, and it is covered by a thick capsule and the tumor epithelium. This is tumor epithelium, multiple septa, and this part is uh, actually uh, tumor. Cystic necrosis is um, central irregular hemorrhagic or ischemic necrosis. This, is, uh, this contains hemorrhage or debris. Uh, have a look. This is nice case of simple cyst. Very simple, clear, crystal clear, and smooth. It is covered by paper thin membrane contains serous fluid and uh, lined by single normal biliary epithelium. We have known uh, several years uh, the presence of biliary cyst adenoma, but back in 19, uh, 1990s, there has been controversy over the presence of ovarian stroma and bilateral communication. Recently, WHO proposed two different cysts. One is mucinous cystic neoplasm, which has got ovarian stroma, and the other one, cystic variant of interductal papillary neoplasm, which does not contain uh, ovarian stroma. This, the ovarian stroma differentiates two different kinds of cystic neoplasm. Back to uh, pathology, this is mucinous cystic neoplasm. Tumor cells line the cyst, and there is also tumor, tumor tissue in the uh, septa, this is cyst and cyst, and this is covered by thick, as you see here, thick ovarian stroma. But in cystic variant of IPMN, this, is, this part is in fact uh, papillary tumor. This is papillary tumor covered by capsule, but without uh, ovarian stroma. Let's have a look. This is nice view of cystadenoma, which is covered by thick capsule, multiple beautiful septa, and daughter cyst, or cystine cyst appearance. Again, in, in gross pathology, there's cystine cyst, daughter cyst, and there are multiple thick tumor septa. And also, there is ovarian stroma. This is characteristic. Another example, multiple septa, cyst and cyst, uh, and um, filled with mucin, and there are multiple daughter cysts inside. This is case of malignant mucinous cystic neoplasma, which contains large irregular tumor nodule. There is no septa, but it is filled with uh, debris and hemorrhage. This is tumor itself, and uh, this is filled with mucin. Now, interductal papillary neoplasm is a specialized form of cholangiocarcinoma that the tumor forms of mass only inside the lumen. There's a polypoid mucosal spreading type, and there are four different types, and all these tumor grows inside the bile duct, only inside the bile duct. 
One of them is cystic uh, neoplasm, which is about 15% uh, of uh, introductory uh, mucinous introductory tumor. Tumor grows here, small tumor, and this part blows out like a balloon eventually, and it forms a large cystic mass in the, in the lipoparenchyma, and the bile ducts are communicating because originally it is origin from the bile duct. This is solid tumor, and this is mucin and hemorrhage. Sorry. Well, this is another case of cystic, balloon-like cystic tumor. Here is a, here is a dilated bile ducts. Tumor here is so like, like um, well, necrotic tumor, but it is this part is uh, actually papillary tumor. Well, the other mechanism is um, dilatation of peribiliary cyst. This is. This is one of peribiliary cysts. Tumor arises here. It blow up, blow up again, and it's like a diverticulum. You may know, you may know the um, branch duct IPMN of the pancreas. It's, it's analogous to branch duct IPMN of the pancreas because it is arisen from side branch, not main branch side branch, which is peribiliary cyst. Let's have a look. This is large cyst, very uncharacteristic because we thought it was um, mucinous cyst neoplasm because there is no bile duct dilatation, thick uh, wall, and there are two small uh, nodules. So we thought it was mucinous cyst neoplasm, but in fact, it was proven as introductal mucinous uh, papillary tumor. It's like a uh, diverticulum like dilatation of uh, peribiliary cyst. Another example, it is, looks the same, but there are some septa here, and septa, solid tumor. And this is another case of diverticulum, diverticulum like um, uh, mucinous cyst in neoplasm, no, introductal, uh, introductal papillary tumor. Differentiation, some, some uh, sometimes difficult, but septa is um, character characteristic for mucinous cystic neoplasm. Cyst and cyst, cyst, and cyst is also um, characteristic for mucinous cystic neoplasm. But bile duct communication is um, only encountered in cystic IPMB because uh, cystic IPMB arises from the bile duct itself. Uh, last look at um, pathology. This is uh, tumor necrosis, irregular cystic or hemorrhagic or ischemic necrosis, and sometimes there are septi. Here is a case of a cystic neuroendocrine tumor. This part was solid tumor, but it became necrotic, remaining septa here. And the, this is um, hemorrhagic, this is um, necrotic hemangioma. We thought it was uh, one of uh, metastasis, perhaps from neuroendocrine tumor, but uh, ultrasound shows, contrast media enhanced ultrasound shows peripheral nodule, which is typical of hemangioma. Moving on to primary liver tumor, which looks like cyst. This is huge hematoma in, uh, in, 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 in the child. And these, these are myxomatous tissue contain, containing serous or uh, mucoid fluid. Another case of embryonal, um, undifferentiated embryonal sarcoma, which is, contains the same thing, mix of degeneration, it, it was, um, uh, cyst-like embryonic coma. There are cystic disease, which looks like uh, cystic tumor. This um, typical of um, hydatid cyst, cyst, looking like 
something buccinous cystic neoplasm, septum, cystic cyst, again another case, multiple septum. It just look like uh, cystic neoplasm, but the history or uh, some other clinical information may help diagnose it. Uh, what about liver abscess? Sometimes liver abscess look like cyst, but in fact, the wall consists of double or triple walls, and the, there are multiple chambers. Margin is marked as shaky, and there are enhancing septum. <coughs> this is another case of a mavic abscess, fairly smooth, but there are two layers, and inside is cystic. Well, learning objectives of this talk was review of neoplastic and inflammatory cyst and the role of specific diagnosis. If you remember pathology, it is easier to understand imaging findings and it is easier to make a specific diagnosis. Typical cyst, large, smooth, clear cyst with clear, uh, crystal clear content, no visible capsule in cyst, uh, typical uh, benign cyst. It's, it is because it is covered by single epithelium. Neoplastic cyst, a little bit dirty, multiple septa, bile duct communication, and multiple irregular cysts. Not, nothing like a uh, simple uh, pencil sharp cyst. This, these are because tumor cells, tumor necrosis, and also thick capsule. Irregular, solid, there are solid portions, and uh, multi -loculated. Liver abscess is an irregular central necrosis, which has a uh, dirty, irregular shaggy border, and um, double or triple layers, multi chambers, and enhancing septum. This is uh, end of my talk. Thank you very much for your atten attention. <laughs>